Hi y'all and welcome to my channel. On this episode, we're gonna be building this mantle for this classic shaker fireplace design. Now, if you wanna know how to build the rest of this fireplace, I'll put a link to those videos right here and also in the description below. But for this episode, we're just gonna be talking about this mantle, how to build it, and all the things that you need to make it. If that's something you're interested in, stick around because we're about to get started. All right, so we're here in my garage and I have all the materials laid out here on my table. There are really four main things that you need to have to build this mantle top. That is a base plate, the crown molding, the mounting blocks, and your mantle itself. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna cut everything down and then I'm gonna come back and show you how to assemble it. All right, so what I would like to do is to really help you out with cutting your crown molding, it can be a little tricky. What I do is I first cut my corner on my miter saw and I'll link to a video right here on how I did that. But for this, um, what I do is I line the very corner up to the corner of my base plate right here. And then I'm gonna take my pencil and I'm gonna go over there and mark the other edge. Let me move my camera over there and show you. All right, we're over here at the other edge and you can see right here, this is where it lines up. I'm simply just gonna take my pencil and mark it exactly where it needs to be. And now I know that's where I have to cut my miter at. It's a really easy way to make sure that you get it right snug up to the edge. Just a nice little tip. All right, so I finished cutting the crown molding for the front of our fireplace. Now it's time to cut the crown molding for the two sides. We need a left and a right. So I'm gonna go cut those and then I'm gonna show you how everything comes together. All right, so what we have right here is our front crown molding. We have our sides on this one and over here. We then have our center base plate with our support blocks and then our mantle board right here, which is super thick. You can see here, this is actually one inch or one, ch one inch and a quarter, okay? So we're gonna put all this together and we're gonna start with the front. All right, the first thing we're gonna attach is gonna be the crown molding to the base plate. To do that, I'm gonna use this quarter inch thick MDF as a spacer so that I can have a quarter inch gap from the bottom of the base plate. Let me show you with what I mean by that. So this is gonna lay flat just like this. We're gonna take our crown molding, glue it, and then brad nail it right onto the here, and then we're gonna remove the quarter inch MDF and we'll have a nice, perfect quarter inch gap all the way across. All right, well, let me go get my glue and my brad nailer and we'll put this together. As you can see, we've attached the crown molding to the base plate and we have a nice quarter inch gap that goes all the way around. Next, what we have to do is we have to install our support blocks. This holds the mantle top in place. Now, I've already marked out where they need to go. I have four of them and I'm probably just gonna use some glue and I have some pretty long brad nails to secure them. You could use screws or whatever you want. The purpose here is that they just stay in place and you could just simply glue them if you wanted. It's really more to support the weight of the board that we're gonna be putting on top. All right, so here we are with the top. The first thing that we need to do before we attach it is mark where these support systems are because when this top covers this, you won't be able to see where they're at. Then we're gonna apply some wood glue all the way around, countersink some screws in the top. So it's gonna look something like this. And then we'll apply some wood putty, cover that with paint, 
and then we'll all be done. Well, let's head inside to see what this finally looks like when we're complete. All right, you guys should have everything you need now to build this mantle for this classic shaker fireplace design. If you have any questions or comments about this build, please post them in the comments below. I'll be more than happy to answer them. And don't forget to hit that thumbs up button for me. It lets me know that you like this type of content and it helps others find this video. All right guys, till next time, I'll see you later.